What's up guys, welcome back to The Home Slice. Today I have another video working out which strops kind of refine your best number most efficiently. We're working our way up to leather, but I'm trying a couple more things real quick on denim. This is stretchy denim, but it's also the denim that I used on that Magna Cut mule that I sent to Pete that cut 1,550 times. So I'm not too worried that the denim quality is, is off. I have two knives and three strops for today. They're both sharpened on Spyderco Ultrafine. That's been my control is Spyderco Ultrafine finished with edge trailing strokes edge. This one tested at 240 best and this one at 260. Uh, I left them up that high and didn't work them further on the stone because in the last test, actually the ones that tested higher actually stropped clean a little bit better. Today we've got a Veneve 1 micron diamond paste and a Veneve 2 micron CBN paste. I'm going to strop each one of these on one respectively and then take best measurements and see how much better they got. And then I'm going to strop both of them on the 0.1 micron gunny juice to see if they further get better. And then I'll probably reset the, the edge that didn't improve as much on the Spyderco Ultrafine and come back and record what it is to begin with and then just do the 0.1 micron gunny juice to sort of see how the gunny juice is as a refining step on denim and then how it is as an initial deburring step on denim. All right guys, starting off this dropping test with the CBN, you can see the initial numbers on the screen. And in later testing, I have been pleased with this CBN paste in certain applications, but I think one of the things I figured out pretty quickly is that 240 and 260 respectively are a little too bird to really strop off well with really hard abrasives on denim. This one went up by 15 grams on the CBN. I don't think that's really reflective of the quality of the abrasive, but probably more that the sweet spot for deburring before you go into the stropping process is a bit lower. Now we're into one micron Veneve. It fares a little bit better, dropping by 27 grams. That's a pretty average strop for these tests that I'm doing. I'm not saying I do everything right, but it's somewhere around 30 when you do 10 strokes on denim with a hard abrasive has been pretty typical. I've reset this edge now. I'm just testing it to make sure it's comparable and it is at 238 grams. So the green one being back to around 240 and the yellow one having stropped down to the low 200s now, I'm gonna hit them both with gunny juice, one fresh edge and one edge that's already undergone a strop on the one micron Veneve. And I think something that I would mention overall is that I've been pretty pleased with gunny juice results so far. Whether the edge still has a bit of burr or whether you're just using it as a refining step, this 0.1 micron Veneve has been good results. So this one dropped by 66 grams. That's about double what most of the other ones have been doing. And this one that hadn't even undergone other stropping has dropped by 65 grams. Here's a roundup of the final results. I've displayed it listing each number by abrasives with increases being highlighted, but any drops just being listed as their amount in grams. I think I like this format for its understandability a little bit better than the ones that I've done in the past. I think there are some broad strokes generalizations, which I'll go over in a moment, but I have to say generally it would seem that with denim stropping, you, your sweet spot is really smaller abrasives, like the gunny juice is putting up some decent numbers here, or softer abrasives. And the denim strop really seems most effective with tackling that initial larger burr, but it would seem that 240 and 260 were perhaps too high of best readings and too much burr to begin with for an optimal deburring sequence. There's a couple preliminary results. Number one, it seems like maybe the sweet spot for deburring, at least off of a ceramic stone like this Spider Co., is to get it between 150 and 200 to 210 maybe to begin with. It seems like I'm having the best luck with getting the burr to pop off when you're starting out at sort of that level 
of already being deburred. Now that said, I feel like these results are consistent with the other denim stropping results in that they sort of center down the best, the absolute best numbers come when you apply smaller abrasives to the denim. This 147 off of the Gunny Juice is one of the best denim and diamond numbers that I've got so far. I think the other best number I got was around 149 and it was a 0 0.5 micron diamond. So small abrasives giving you better numbers there. What's interesting in all the testing so far, CBN and diamond on denim, they sort of hit this floor and they won't go past it at around 145 or 150 grams best. Of course, the, the abrasives are fine, the abrasives are great, but I think we can draw a casual conclusion that for denim stropping, denim stropping works really well for highly effective deburring with softer abrasives. And this diamond and the CBN and those kinds of abrasives simply don't seem to work as well on a denim strop. I kind of contrast these numbers where you're up around the 200s and then it drops to around 150 with one of the previous tests where I had one that was around 210 or so and I hit it once on denim with Mother's Mag polish and it dropped it all the way down to 108 which then stropped on Kangaroo all the way down to 95. So just two steps and that seems to be sort of the key. Denim is good, I think, for initial deburring of sort of the larger burr. It's best if you sort of follow up with something else usually. And it works best with softer abrasives. Now we'll get into testing on some cardboard and some leather and a few different kinds of abrasives to see whether we can confirm or deny that result, but that's the way it's looking to me at the moment. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see the previous dropping video, I'll put it on screen now. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day and I will say peace out to you from the home slice. Take care.